with a temperature climate, an average annual sunshine of 300 days, a capital of non-arable and unused land, more than 1200 kilometers of sea coast and a hundred of geothermal water sources, thousands of hectares of saline and sabhas, Tunisia constitutes a favorable environment for the proliferation of microalgae. The industrial exploitation of microalgae in Tunisia started in 2004 benefiting from technology transfer projects initiated since 1998 between the University of Leeds, Belgium and the Tunisian National Institute of Science and Technology of the Sea, Annex of Monastia. Currently, mainly three companies ensure the microalgae production with a total of around 5 tons per year, made up exclusively of cyanobacterium, namely spirulina. The spirulina production firms are well embedded in their environment. Production is performed mainly in greenhouses, using rectangular basins agitated by paddle wheels. Periodically, 20 to 40 percent of the basin volume is filtered. The biomass obtained is drained. Extruded and then dried at 40 degrees Celsius. The final product is presented in the form of powder, capsules or tablets. Mainly, spirulina is marketed as a food supplement rich in amino acids, trace elements and vitamins. In recent years and thanks to a close collaboration between the NSTM, B3 Aqua Laboratory and spirulina farmers, we can see on the market some elaborated products such as spirulina products enriched with essential elements such as zinc, selenium, magnesium, and iron, or cosmetic dietic products based on bioactive extracted from microalgae. Microalgae are rich in various bioactives of interest. The most currently used in Tunisian products are phycocyanin and beta-carotene. Phycocyanin is a blue-colored light-harvesting pigment-bending protein with a content of around 20% of dry biomass. Spirulina is the best source of phycocyanin in the world. Phycocyanin is elated from spirulina having many therapeutic potentials like free radical scavenging activity and antitoxidant anti-inflammatory and anti-cancer properties. Beta-carotene is rather extracted from a species proliferating in salt waters and subclass called Donolia lacelina. The species of the genus Donoliella are photosynthetic and mobile unicellular green microalgae. Donoliella can tolerate increased NaCl concentrations of around 360 grams per liter. Under these conditions, Danaliella has a red color due to the synthesis of beta-carotene, reaching 14% of the dry weight. Beta-carotene can be extracted directly in edible oils. Preferred oil to be used is vegetable oil such as corn oil, safflower oil or the like. Beta-carotene is used as an ingredient in multivitamin supplements, as an additive in cosmetic formulations, as a colorant in animal feed and especially as an antioxidant in food. The high temperatures associated with geothermal activity frequently result in surface and subsurface recycled meteoric hot water, which is generated by the infiltrated rainfall in the underground. Tunisia has significant thermal resources, consisting of boreholes and natural sources with meteoric waters emerging at a temperature 
ranging from 25 to 70 degrees Celsius. In Tunisia, there are more than 56 thermal boreholes and more than 78 hot geothermal springs. Although they have been well characterized in terms of their geological and geochemical properties, these hot springs have rarely or not been studied for their microbial communities. Such studies are required not only to understand the native microbial communities from a scientific point of view, but also to exploit their potential metabolites for various industrial applications. In general, hot spring natural ecosystems and favorable for common organisms are inhabited by specific photosynthetic microalgae, forming thick mass anchored in natural or artificial submerged boulders. Recently, surveys of the B3 Aqua Laboratory an STM research team resulted in the identification and cultivation of several species isolated from the specific ecosystems associated with the Tunisian hot springs in extreme temperatures between 40 degrees and 75 degrees Celsius. Matt's communities were collected by scratching of boulders and submerged plants from hot spring. Mats collected were treated by filtration, centrifugation and dilution techniques according to standard microbiological protocols. The purified strains were cultivated in patch culture, under sterile conditions. Each culture were inoculated in artificial medium culture. Later conducted under photobioreactor with controlled light and temperature. Laboratory work showed that these species have a great productivity obtained in temperatures above 30 degrees Celsius and a resistant capacity at temperatures around 60 degrees Celsius. Selected strains as a new diatom named Halomophora sp with particular richness in polyunsaturated fatty acids of long chains exceeding 30% of the biomass including high content of W6 and W3 fatty acids. Chlorophacine of the genus Gersila with a content of W3 and W6 exceeding 50% of the total lipids. A cyanobacterium Cleocaspa gelatinosa rich in saturated and long chain fatty acids which reaches 82% of the total lipids. Cyanobacterium of the genus Leptolengbia characterized by a high production of extracellular polymeric substance exceeding 85% of the biomass. EPS are heterosulfated polysaccharides well known for their antiviral, antibacterial, and antifungal properties. They are obtained from the culture medium by ultrafiltration. In various sectors, food, cosmetic, and health, the market is grown rapidly in support of the development of bioproductions and in a global context of demand for reduction of chemical additives, microalgae culture is considered as eco-friendly. It has low environmental impact and environmentally non-degrading and natural resources are managed in a way that maintain ecosystem functions to support curing as well as circa activities. In this context, the integration of microalgae as a new biomass resource for the food, aqua feed, cosmetic sectors will boost infrastructure development, rural bioeconomy and industry, and permit higher accessibility and profitability for populations.